Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Vader Gaming 2019. Today we are checking out Dreamfall The Longest Journey. Sequel to the original The Longest Journey. Which was a game I actually wanted to cover last year for Vader Gaming, but... The game is so old that it's difficult to get it running properly, let alone capturing properly. I managed to get it playable and that was about it. Oh, I ended up passing over it last year. Dreamfall, however, still works pretty well. At least well enough. So let's uh, jump in and have a look at it. I believe this game came out in like 2006. So I think it holds up kind of reasonably. I am at the crossroads between waking and dream. One path leads back to the world I left behind. The other path... The other path leads to a place of shadows. Between the familiar and the unknown, between certainty and doubt, my choice would seem obvious. Any sane man would turn around, return to the world he knows, forget what he has learned, and live his life in blissful ignorance. But in truth, it is too late. My choice was made many years ago, when I first embarked on this journey. I cannot turn back. I am at a crossroads... But for me, there is only one path. I leave behind these words in the hope that someday they will serve as a map for someone else. To whomever reads this, Godspeed on your journey. If you ever decide to follow in my footsteps, look me up. Brian Westhouse Okay, hopefully that cutscene didn't spaz out too much for you guys. I had to adjust the window to see the subtitles. So hopefully it didn't cause too many problems. Okay, first of all, the camera movement is inverted. I don't like that. Can I change that? Let's change it to movement and see what happens. Okay, no, that actually makes him move when I turn it. That is weird. Change that back. I just don't want it inverted. Camera behavior mouse. Let's actually change them to inverted and see if that fixes it. Uh, I can't really look vertically at all right now. Okay, but that did fix the fix the mouse control. Okay. It turns the way I expect it to now. That's right, 2006. Game still had some weird control schemes. Hi. He's meditating. I shouldn't disturb him. Alright, fair enough. Stay away from the summoner. I got it. Uh, 
Okay, then where do I go? I assume they're all meditating and I shouldn't disturb them. They must have noticed me. They've stopped whispering. Probably talking about me. Alright, well, we've walked a full circle around the room. Feeling good about that. Okay, there is no sprint. Oh, guess we just had to wait. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, seems like a good idea. What? What are you doing here? You cannot be here. It will find you. I... don't... Where am I? What is this place? How did you get here? Go back the way you came, quickly. You cannot stay. I... I don't... know how to go. It is here. What have you done? What have you done? What do you mean? What? The undreaming. God. What is that? What? No. No. No! Yep, I've seen enough anime to know where that's going. Alright, this is not where I expected it to go. They say that every story has a beginning and an end. That might be true in most cases. Sometimes, however, the two are one and the same. My name is Zoe Castillo. I don't usually look this pale, but that's what you get for being in a coma. That's my father, Gabriel. I'm all he's got in this world. My mother died 15 years ago and I don't have any siblings. I think he'll be very lonely when I'm gone. I wish I could have talked to him one last time, let him know that everything will be okay. But that would be a lie. The only thing I could have said is goodbye. Since I'm lying in that bed, but I'm talking to you from out here, I guess this is what they call an out-of-body experience. I'm not sure anyone can hear me, but I've had some experience with voices from the grave recently, so I'm giving it a shot. Bad things are happening, and everyone who knows the truth is either dead or has vanished off the face of the earth. If I can get through to someone, anyone, maybe something can be done. So if you can hear me, please listen. This is very, very important. It might just be the most important thing ever. You'll have to forgive me for using the oldest cliché in the book. It all began when...
causing the unfortunate cow to implode. Ryan? Moo, <laughs> that's a spicy a meatball. <laughs> to err is human, to forgive is bovine. <laughs> I'm running out of cow jokes here, people. Thanks, Diane. The static has been blamed for a chain collision this morning on the Crosstown Express, killing one person and injuring five. Witnesses say that a delivery truck lost wire contact and manual systems failed to take over, causing it to hit another vehicle. This accident coincides with a new report from CTU, claiming definitive evidence that the static is caused by heavy sunspot activity. The report has already come under fire from several... Sorry. Find her. Save her. What was that? Well done. Must be some kind of viral ad. Cricket's coming home, folks, and the critters are knocking them down like there's no tomorrow. In the opening innings, the Kasawi There's a monkey. For glory. Zoe, there's a message. Good thing too, Ryan. My mobile's beeping. The only firing the critters got done this summer was that of Coach Ul Huck. No reason for yeah. drastic measures this time around. Though. Mobile phones take the form of monkeys in the future. There's a message on my mobile. The South African captain was left scratching his head looking at uh, the scoreboard. There's a message on my mobile. All right. Wrong choice. Any chance the tourists can turn things around after tea, Ryan? This is an automatic reminder sent by... Oh, shit. The gym. I have to hurry. Not according to the forecast. Dry and sunny is the order of the day for the next couple of Press M to check messages on the mobile. Yep. Works as expected. That closet definitely isn't big enough for me. I've always wanted a walk-in. Alright, let's get dressed. We can't go to the gym like this. That was all from the world of sports this morning. What have we got coming up, Ryan? I believe there's an interesting report about marauding squirrels, Diane. Marauding squirrels. I'm more interested in the news than whatever's been going on. Breaking news I talk to the monkey. Every hour. For Channel 8, this is Diane Diamato. And I'm Ryan Ryan. Hiya, Wonkers. <laughs> Zoe, do you want to play a game? Not today. I'm just not in the mood. Oh, okay then. Uh, news. So what are the headlines today? Gagan Galanka was spotted with Chinese model Vivian Zhu last evening at the swanky Europolis nightclub, Bitter. Witnesses told... Mm, no. Next story, please. Casa Wee playboy Batista Massad shocked audiences at... Skip the entertainment news. Is there anything else? It turns out that bingo brand diet wine has more calories than... Do you have any real news? You've programmed me to track entertainment news and diet-related headlines, Zoe. If you want to reprogram my news filter, that's easy. Oh, no. I guess I'll access a news feed. All right. How about schedule? Remind me what's on my schedule today, Wonkers. Well, there's the gym at 11.30. Right. And after that? There's the party tonight. There's nothing before that? No, Zoe. That's all. I really need a job. I mean, you just go to the gym and you party. Pretty good life. Don't you get bored just sitting here in my room? I know I do. I don't get bored. I think a lot. You do? About what? About the fun times we've had together, Zoe. The memories make me happy. Wonkers, that's... sad. Why? I'm not programmed to feel sad, Zoe. I'm programmed to feel happy. Always. Lucky you. I wish I knew what that was like. I need to get going. Are you sure you don't want to play a game? We haven't played a game in so long. I'm sorry, Wonkers. I just haven't felt much like playing lately. Okay, then. I want to play a game with Wonkers. Monkey is adorable. Mess with the light? So I have a thing for pillows. Oh. So I have a thing for pillows. We've got a service that takes care of the house and the laundry. 
but they only stop by once a week. I'm glad I don't have to share a bathroom with Dad. He's messy. Aren't they always? Good morning, Zoe. Dad, what are you still doing home? Having my coffee. The train's not leaving until one o'clock, so I thought I'd sleep in for a change. Train? What train? The train for Bombay. Bombay? Good Lord, Zoe. Did you forget already? We spoke about it on Tuesday. I'm going on a business trip to Bombay, remember? Oh, Bombay, right. I thought that was next... Oh, wait. It's today Thursday. How pathetic is that? I don't even know what day it is anymore. Well, at least you're up before noon. That's something. So, do you have any plans this morning? I mean, what's left of it? Um, I'm going to the gym. See? You still have passion for something. It's either that or scan the wanted ads and get depressed about all the jobs I don't qualify for. If you feel that way, why don't you go back to school? Dad, don't start. I'm sorry, Zoe, but you're obviously not happy here either. Change your major. Biotech's not the only thing Cape Town's got to offer. Hell, why not change university? I'll help you. In fact, Bombay's got a great school for bioengineering. I could stop by while I'm there. We've had this discussion already. Oh, I wish it was that easy. Don't you think I miss having direction and ambitions? Now I'm just... I just don't know what I want. Can you please understand that? I need time. Fine, I won't push. I'm happy to have you home, Zoe. I just hate to see you like this. So do I, Dad. So do I. Uh, party? Listen, Dad. Would you mind terribly if I had a few people over tonight? You're asking me if you can have a party. No. Not a party. More like a... a uh, soiree. Ah, oh, right. Uh, I'm guessing there won't be any boys or alcohol at the soiree? There definitely won't be any drugs. How's that? Hmm. You know how to put things into perspective, Zoe. All right. When did you ever need my permission anyway? I know how to play you, Dad. That's what daughters do. There's some truth. So, what's happening in Bombay? We're signing a contract with a new biotech outfit, and they need me to do another on-site evaluation. Oh, that sounds really, really boring. I thought you wanted to do more lab work. I did. I do. This is what happens when you get a promotion. Serves you right for having ambitions. So when are you coming back? Well, I'm not actually sure. It could take a few days. It could be as much as two weeks. Really? Two weeks? I have the house to myself for... I, I mean, I have to be alone for two weeks. Yes, and we talked about this on Tuesday as well. Oh, sorry. My mind's just elsewhere. <laughs> I'll say. Buy me something in Bombay. Something exotic. An alarm clock, maybe? Funny. How's work going? Are you OK? You know, I can't remember the last time you asked me about my job. Hey, I'm trying to be a concerned daughter. Some credit? Of course, I'm sorry. Work is good. The promotion's keeping me very busy. I've noticed. We haven't had a sit-down dinner together since Christmas Eve. I know, sweetheart. I'm sorry about that. Listen, how about this? I promise I'll cook for you when I get back from Bombay. Ooh, spaghetti. I was thinking more along the lines of salad. Ew, no. Are you trying to tell me I need to lose weight? Spaghetti it is. Now we can do work again. So, about work. Anything new? Aside from this trip? No, not really. It's all pretty boring stuff. Come on, I study bioengineering too. Don't forget that. I know exactly how boring it can be. <laughs> That's true. I keep forgetting that my beautiful and talented daughter thought it was a good idea to follow in my footsteps. Don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm the beautiful and talented dropout daughter now. Breaking with tradition. In true Castillo fashion. 
I should hurry. I was supposed to be at the gym already. Have a nice trip, okay? So you're not sure when you're coming back? It could take a while, depending on how the inspections go. And I have some other business to take care of in Bombay. Really? What is it? Oh, just work stuff. There are several biotechs headquartered in Bombay, and I need to take some meetings. Call me if there's anything. If I don't pick up right away, it means I'm in a meeting or a, inside a secure facility. I promise I'll call you back as soon as I can. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Be good, okay? Yeah, yeah. That was a fun conversation. Dad's bathroom. We Castillos like our privacy. Dad doesn't like me going into his bedroom. And I can't say that I want to, either. Refrigerator? We order in. There's nothing in the fridge except white wine, mouldy cheese, and some dubious leftover Chinese. Bye, Dad. Have a safe trip, okay? I will. Bye, sweetheart. Oh, my dear, look at this place. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, well, that's fancy. It's a quadcopter. Jardin de Rose. It's even less exciting than it sounds. Right, we have a walk button, not a run button. Once upon a time, people scribbled words on pieces of paper and dropped them into these boxes. Why they did that, no one knows. Hi, Zoe. Oh, hello. Who are you? Olivia DeMarco. Shopkeeper, genius, best friend. Oh, good. Morning, sweetie. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Hi, Liv. I'm going to the gym and I'm running a bit late, so... Hey, listen. I've got something you should take a look at. You're not in a rush, are you? Dare screw the gym. I guess the gym can wait. What's up? Not out here, silly. Big hush-hush. Inside. Oh, well, this place is cool. Oh, multiple wonkers. They come in a variety of colors. Zoe. Find April. Save April. That thing again. What's going on? Hey, did you see that? See what, sweetie? On the screen. I saw the same thing earlier today. It was like... I don't quite know how to describe it. Like interference, but not just noise. It was clear, but distorted. Like a bad dream. Mm, no. Could have been the static. It's been getting worse by the day. I even got disconnected from the wire for a few moments this morning. Scariest moment of my life since the collapse. Not counting that time I rode the mechanical bull. Never again. So, what did you see? There's this snowy landscape with a black house. And a little girl who looks like a ghost. And she speaks to me. Save her. Find her. Really, really freaky stuff. Wow, that is scary. I haven't seen that. I definitely would have remembered... Are you sure you just haven't been watching too many horror movies lately? I mean, spend enough hours in front of the screen and you're bound to start seeing stuff. Don't you start with that too, Liv. I'm already feeling guilty enough as it is. I'm sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean anything. No, it's okay. It's me. I don't know what's going on with me. I can barely get out of bed in the morning. Every day is exactly the same, and I'm not doing anything to change that. There's no school to go to, no job, and I barely spend time with my friends. Oh, what's left of them? I see you all the time, don't I? You haven't abandoned me. No. 
but that's because it's so easy to come here. If it requires any more effort on my part... And that goes for everything. I'm on autopilot. It's probably exhaustion, sweetie. You've had a tough year. You dropped out of school, broke up with Reza, moved back home. All of that's bound to take its toll, no? You're probably right. And I do complain way too much, don't I? I don't want to be the whiny, apathetic Zoe. I want to be me again. Anyway, enough about me. You wanted to show me something. What was that, sweetie? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's something really cool. Oh, sorry. Before I forget, Dad's out of town and I'm having some people over tonight. Would you like to come? I was going to unpack a new delivery tonight, but... Sure. Work can always wait. Who's coming? The usual suspects. Great. Sounds fun. How about Reza? I haven't seen him in ages. I really miss him. Any chance you guys are getting back together soon? He's not the right guy for me at this point. I mean, I love him to death. He's great. But it was getting too serious. What I mean is, I was getting too serious. It was just way too early for that. And that whole long distance thing was becoming a problem for us. It's pretty ironic that as soon as we're broken up, I move back here. Five minutes away from his apartment. Not that it makes a difference. I'm just happy we're still friends and that we're comfortable with each other. You and him are my two best friends. I don't ever want to lose that. But getting back together... Nope. Besides, I don't think he'll be coming to the party. He's been really busy. So, eight-ish? I'll bring my charm and a bottle of tequila. Now, I have something to show you. What is it? WSL suppressor software. Okay. Let's pretend for a second that I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Can do. It's like, uh, a cloak for your mobile. Want to be invisible? Just tap the screen. Well, actually, you select menu and applications, and then the icon that looks like a penguin, and then activate. But that's like, one, two, three, okay, four taps. Small price to pay, seeing as you're now invisible, right? I don't get it. I'm invisible. No, you're not invisible. That is impossible. Except with a very, very expensive combat suit, and those things don't hold up to a can of spray paint. What this little hack does is make your mobile invisible to the eye in the sky. You're untraceable. The syndicate can't track your mobile. Mondo, cool, huh? That is cool. How does it work? You just, what, wire it to my mobile? Yup. Easy as strawberry pie. Give me a second and I'll... Oops. This is, like, important, sweetie. I'm buying a batch of exclusive Ethiopian mobiles directly from the factory. Real cheap. So I gotta... Take it. I'll see you later. I'll hook you up with the software when you come back, okay? Tadia Salem. Denane. All right, so we just got a whole lot of, like, backstory and stuff right there. Refurbished and upgraded bots is a speciality of Liv's. She makes tons of money from that. If Liv doesn't have it in stock... She can get it for you in 24 hours. Whatever it is. Alright. So yeah, there was some information dropped there about something called the Collapse. And the Syndicate. So there's stuff going on that we don't know about yet. It's an ancient post box. I like that she has multiple descriptions of mailboxes. Hey Zoe! Hiya. Out for a jog? Yep, well, I'm actually heading down to the gym for a quick workout before lunch. Hey, weren't you supposed to be there already? Yeah, I'm running a bit late. You should hurry. Jamma won't be happy. I know, I know. I'm on my way. All right, we'll see you there. Jeez, everybody keeps rushing me to the gym. It's like they're trying to tell me something. You can interact with people or objects from a distance using focus fields. Rice mouse button to activate focus field. Aim the focus field at a person or object you wish to interact with using the mouse. Click the right mouse button again to deactivate focus field. Mocha Loco's got the best coffee and comfiest seats and cut. Uh. Hmm. 
holding right mouse button. I don't know if it's doing things. Oh, I see. Huh. Sushi ya. That That's weird. That'll take some getting used to. Is the gym over here? I have no idea if I'm going remotely the right direction. Trash robot. That's awesome. The gym's on the top floor, and there's no elevator. I mean, if you're going up there to exercise anyway, why not make it easier? Hey, we found the gym. It's a miracle. Oh, and we automatically changed clothes. Are we about to do some, like, kung fu? You're late. I'm sorry, I was just... Don't be sorry. Be on time. It won't happen again. I doubt that. You lack commitment, Zoe. You're my most talented student, but talent isn't everything. You don't take our work seriously anymore. You're wasting both your time and mine. I'm sorry, Jarma. It just doesn't seem to matter as much to me as it used to. It's not that martial arts needs to be such an important part of your life. But passion is always important. If you lack passion for what you do, it's not worth doing. But let's leave it at that and get started on today's lesson. Ready? Go! Left mouse button for light attacks. Great movement! Right mouse button for heavy attacks. Block, Zoe, block! You make it too easy, Zoe. You must stay focused. Keep your guard up and attack only when your opponent is vulnerable. I didn't get a tutorial for blocking. That was good, Zoe. But practice makes perfect. Let's start over. Was it good? Okay. Good. Positions. How do block? Ready? Go! Okay, there we go. Great movement! Space is blocked. Figured it out. That's it. Keep it up. Good. Did I teach you that one? Stay focused, Zoe. Great movement. I don't entirely understand combat. Alright, whatever. I figured out how to block. That's what I wanted. Not bad, Zoe. No, no, I'm good. no. I think I've had enough for today. Very well. We'll pick it up again tomorrow. And do try to be on time. All right. Successful gymming. Sorry. Find April Ryan. Save her. I don't believe it. That video is following me, I swear to God. And doesn't Jarma always keep that screen switched off? This is getting a bit freaky. Hi, Reza. Hello. Are you busy? Mm, not really. Why? I need to talk to you. Can you meet me at Mokoloko? Sure, when? 
Now? I'm already on my way there. All right, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Great. See you there. All right, sounds like we got a hot date. We'll show him the trash robot. He'll be impressed. Uh, was that the place that was like right up here that we started to look at and ran away from? Are you Reza? I think his name is Iqbal. I only know him by his reputation, and the word is apparently sleazeball. Alright. Oh, no. That's what you're saying. We get dinner from Sushi Yard. Okay, that's a sushi place. That's not what we're looking for. Oh, this is it. Hey, what's up? Nothing much. I was just at the gym. Again? I'm impressed. You're there almost every day, aren't you? I have a lot of time on my hands. Lucky you. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't feel particularly lucky. I just feel like I'm wasting time. I thought you were going back to, what was it, Cape Town University? I was. I might. I just don't know if school's the right thing for me at this point. That sounds pretty pathetic, doesn't it? I guess this is what they call going through a phase. At least... I hope it's just a phase. We all have those. You'll be fine. I hope so. Anyway, thanks, Karen. See you later. All right, so I am at Moco Loca. Loca Moca. I don't know words. Hard. Are you Reza? I see him down here all the time. He must live close by. Are you Reza? Reza? Hey! One moment. Rio? Yeah, call me when you're all set up. I'm with a friend. Okay, bye. Who was that? Well, hello to you too, Zoe. Hello. So who was that? <laughs> it's good to know that some things never change. It was just business. I'm curious, that's all. I'm happy you're dating again. It's not a date, it's just... Business, I know. I just don't want you to feel awkward talking about that stuff with me. We're past that. Noted. I'll make sure to tell you about all my romantic adventures, if they ever happen. So, how are you? I'm good. Dad left for Bombay today, so I've got the house to myself. I'm having a few people over tonight. Party? Officially, it's a small get-together. Yeah, we'll invite him. He seems nice. By the way, if you have time, I mean, you're welcome to... You can bring anyone you want. It's just a few people, nothing big. I wish I could, but I have some stuff to take care of, work stuff. I'm really sorry, I wish I... Don't worry about it. It's, it's no big deal. Next time, okay? What's going on with you, Reza? You've been busy. Working on a story? Neck deep, as usual. I've gotten about five hours worth of sleep in the last... 72 hours. Sounds like you're onto something big. It could be. I haven't taken it to the hand yet. I haven't even talked to Martin about it. I need more background, more research, but it's looking... It's looking pretty big. Can you tell me anything about it? I can't. I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll leave it be. No problem. I didn't mean to pry. I know you didn't. You're just being your inquisitive and curious self. I really don't feel like myself anymore. Are you okay? I am. I should be. I don't have any reason to complain. My dad's been supportive. I have everything I could possibly need. Enough money to go anywhere I want. The thing is, I don't really care about anything anymore. I don't have any goals or ambitions and, and I hate feeling like this. It's not me. But you've felt like that for a while, though, haven't you? I mean, it's what you told me when you broke up with... I know, Reza. But I thought it was just a passing phase, and now... Now it's starting to worry me. Is this how I'm going to be feeling for the rest of my life? I feel like I'm letting everyone down. 
I can't even muster up the enthusiasm or the courage to go down to Cape Town to visit Katrina and David. What does that tell you? That you're just stuck in a rut. That's all. And it's only been a couple of months since you left Cape Town. You deserve a break. I know you're trying to make me feel better, and I appreciate that, but... I don't know. I need more than reassurances at this point. I need something to get me up in the mornings. A direction in life. A purpose. Something to... Shit, sorry. I have to take this one. No problem. Yeah? Thanks. Okay, I'll be back soon. Just stay there. Sorry about that, Zoe. I'm a bit stressed today. You were saying? Don't worry about it. Uh, I know you've got stuff to do. Speaking of that, you said on the phone you wanted to talk. What's up? I need a favour. Yeah, we'll be positive. Sure. I don't have any other plans this afternoon. Great. It's nothing big. I just need you to go downtown and pick something up for me. What is it? Do you know where the Sishadri building is located? Mm, nope. It's not far from the hub. There's a company there called Jiva, a biotech lab run by a woman named Chang. Helena Chang. All I need you to do is pick up a package from her. She's expecting me, but I don't have time right now, and I need that package as soon as possible. I don't want to use a courier simply because it's sensitive material. Chang was quite insistent that I can't pick it up in person. I'll send her a message and tell her you're picking it up instead. Is that all right? I mean, you don't mind, do you? Not at all. Seshadri building, Jiva, Helena Chang, package. As soon as possible. And come to my apartment as soon as you have the package, okay? I'll get the hand that bites to pay you for a couple of hours' work. Don't worry about it. I'm not doing this for the feed, Reza. I'm doing it for you. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I guess I should get going. And you need to go do... whatever it is you're doing. Business. Top secret stuff. About that party. Sorry, small get-together tonight. What? If I finish up early, I'll try and stop by. Okay, if you finish early. And if you can enjoy the gossip and the red wine. The way it's going, we're looking at a real girls' night in. I'll keep that in mind. I'll see you in a bit. Thanks again for helping me out, Zoe. Bye. Yeah, other than you, we've invited a whole one person to this party. I have no idea where this building is. Much like everything else in this game, I have no clue where I'm going. They don't know if there's a map. Just kind of winging it and seeing what happens. Rez has lived in that building for almost five years now. Okay, so that's his apartment. That's where we need to come next. So we know where that is, at least. Man, it can't be too hard to find. This place isn't really that big. Alright, that's just a weird little hidey hole. Liv's closed up the store. Interesting. Let's see, is it back this way? I was about to tell you if it is M map, but it's already established that M is something else. Alright, I can't go that way. This is home. Can't open that. Hmm. Unless this is it. Nope. Back this way. Alright, so the left path goes to his apartment. The right path went to the gym. 
unless there's another place over by the gym. Take the taxi. That button contacts the nearest available taxi cab. Use. A taxi has already been registered at your current location. It's an official Casablanca city cab. Not only are they free, they're super comfy. That is very convenient. This seems way more ominous than it should. It's even where I'm supposed to be. That button calls an elevator pod. Sure. Oh, we're here. Cool. You know, for as old as it is, this game holds up fairly well. Kind of surprised by that. Who are you? I'm here to pick up a package from Ms. Chang. My name is Zoe Castillo. She's not here right now. I don't know anything about a package. You'll have to come back tomorrow. We're closed. I have an appointment with her. Can I wait here? No, I already told you. She's not here. We're closed, so I'd like you to leave. Now. Uh, thanks for your help. I'll come back tomorrow. By the way, that's beautiful pigmentation. What? Your hair. Beautiful pigmentation. What colour is that? I don't... I don't know. Just a standard shade that came with the... the implant. Listen, I... It's really nice. Looks very good on you. I've been thinking about going blonde. What do you think? Well, maybe. Listen, I don't have... I really need to get this done uh, before I'm done, so... And I'm very sorry to keep you, but I really do need that package. I already told you several times. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Maybe Ms Chang left the package for me somewhere. Could you please have a look? I'm sorry, but I really don't have time to... to search for a package. Yeah, that's barter. I'd get out of your hair quicker if you could just give me two minutes of your time. Really? Could you just check in that room? Maybe Miss Chang left it in there somewhere. Oh, fine, I'll take a quick look. But if it's not in there, you will have to leave. We really are closed. Thank you so much. I don't think you work here. Just your basic console. There's a corridor back there. There's no pad. The doors are probably controlled from the console. Shit. Kano, get your ass in here. We've got trouble. Kano? <laughs> Hey, no. This isn't Mortal Kombat. You just smack her around. She's really bad at this. Like, worse than I am. She's out cold. I can't... I can't believe I actually knocked someone out. Thrilling combat. Can I loot her? She's out cold. She's out cold. The door has an electronic lock. The door has an electronic lock. But it's only accessible from the outside. Alright, now let's open that door. I wonder if I could have got through the door if I had done that quicker. 
Who knows? She's pointing up at something. I should be able to climb. The opposite of what I wanted. Thank God. The gas was starting to leak through. Another few minutes. What just happened? Who are those people? This is neither the place nor the time for explanations. We need to leave now. All right, sure. Someone's tampered with the system and blocked all access to this floor. I'll need to find a workaround. Sure. Right ahead. I've reactivated the manual override. Try the call button for the elevator. It should work now. Quickly, get into the elevator. We can't stay here any longer. Wait, but the package... The door has an... The door has... The door has an electronic lock. But it's only accessible from the outside. I probably owe you my thanks for saving my life. I wasn't thinking. I'm... Oh, I knocked someone out. Me... I've never hit anyone in my life. You did what you had to do. You defended yourself. I don't know about you, but I usually don't have people trying to kill me. They weren't trying to kill you. They were trying to kill me. Now, who are you? And what were you doing in my laboratory? I'm Zoe Castillo. Are you Helena Chang? That's not... Castillo. I see. Yes. Yes, I'm Helena Chang. How do you know my name? I came by to pick up a package for a friend of mine, Jericho. Jericho? I told him I wouldn't give the package to anyone but him. He couldn't make it, didn't he tell you? I never got that message. Maybe it was intercepted. That would explain a lot. Look, I don't like this. Those people who tried to... to kill you. Are they looking for... for Jericho too? I wouldn't know. But I need to leave right now. Here, take this. Please, deliver it to Jericho as soon as possible. What is it? Information. He'll know what to do with it. Why did you react to my name earlier? Do you know my father, Gabrielle? Your father? N no, no, I, I knew a Castillo once, a long time ago. I'm sorry, but I don't have time for chit-chat. I have to leave. Wait, I need to ask you... Please deliver the package to Jericho right away, and thanks again for your help. I shall not forget it. Zoe Castillo. Hey! Hey, wait! Damn it. Reza has some serious explaining to do. Man, if only taxis were this simple. Granted, self-driving cars are becoming a thing. This may be a glimpse at actual future. Who oh, no. knows? Let's go to that apartment. Yeah, we'll go check out the apartment and we'll wrap up. I'm starting to run a little long. But this is a very story-heavy game, so it's to be expected.
Oh, that's a trippy looking staircase. Here, let's just knock on random people's doors. Reza Tamiz, apartment eight. Apartment eight. How do I know which one's there? Okay, that's six. Five. That window is open. A cat. Reza doesn't have a cat. And why is the door to his apartment open? Reza's apartment. Reza? Reza! He never leaves the apartment unlocked. This is weird. Oh! My God! Are you okay? She's... cold. Zoe. Oh no, not again. What the hell is going on? Find April. Save April. Those are... Those are eye commandos. Downstairs. Oh, that's not good. Uh, quick, hide under the bed. I've spent a lot of nights in that bed. It's very comfy and bouncy. Ha. Ah. The bed is bouncy. Go, go, go! Hands behind your head! Listen, I... I warned you! Oh. Okay. That was very sudden. wonder if that was avoidable. State your name and CID number for the record. What is this place? Who are you? State your name and CID number for the record. I want a lawyer. Name and CID number now. I was scanned when I was brought in. You know who I am. You're being held under the Syndicate Anti-Corporate Activities Statute in connection with murder and possession of contraband software. I would strongly suggest that you cooperate in every way possible or face the consequences. You guys shot me. Isn't that a violation of my rights as a citizen? As of this moment, Miss Castillo, you have no rights. What were you doing in Mr. Tamiz's apartment? I just came by to say hello and noticed that the door was open. I walked in, saw the body. Next thing I know, the cops boom me. So where did you get the data cube? What data cube? I will remind you that your freedom is in the balance, Miss Castillo. We have enough to convict you on several counts. You could be facing up to 30 years in a corporate prison, or you could choose to cooperate. I'm cooperating here. I honestly don't know anything about a data cube. A data cube was found in your possession, containing highly sensitive information. Are you sure it's wise to keep denying your involvement? I don't... Look, I was carrying a package. Someone gave it to me. I was supposed to deliver it to Reza, but he didn't know about it. I don't understand what... Who was the package from? A woman who works at a company downtown. Jeeva. Her name was... Chang, I think. Helena Chang. How did Chang get in touch with you? What? If your friend Mr. Tamiz knew nothing about this, how did Chang contact you? Look... Okay, so I was helping Reza out. He asked me to pick up the package for him, but he didn't know what was in it. He never saw it. Whatever was inside, the only person responsible is Helena Chang. You should be interrogating her. All Reza did was talk to the woman. He's working on a story, and she's a source. What kind of story? I don't know. He didn't tell me. I'm sure there's a good explanation for everything. Reza wouldn't ever harm anyone. 
If Mr. Tamiz attempts to contact you, Miss Castillo, you will call us immediately, and you are not to leave Casablanca without our permission. Now, tell us again, from the top, what did Mr. Tamiz ask you to do for him? All right, well, this situation escalated quickly. Hi, this is Reza. I'm either busy or I'm sleeping. Either way, let me know what's up, and I'll call you right back. Thanks. Um, hi. It's me. Your your mobile's probably been switched off for, uh, for obvious reasons, but if we do get this message... Reza, um, please, please come home. I'm sure things can be sorted out if you just come home. Um, I'm really worried. Call me, okay? Bye. Or send me a message, just oh, something, anything. Bye. Come on, Dad, please pick up, please pick... Hello, Zoe. Dad? Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm currently away from my phone. Leave me a message and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Oh, shit. All right, so that's a pretty good spot to leave off, as we got a bit of story in there of where this is going. Definitely, definitely escalated there towards the end. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with another sequel. See you then.